Last season in the A-League men's, we had one of the most exciting golden boot races in recent memory. Adam Taggart of Perth Glory winning it in the end, but Stamatolopoulos and Bruno Fornaroli were giving him great competition. And in today's video, we are going to go through 10 players who could potentially win the A-League golden boot this season. Coming in at number 10, I'm going for Luki Ivanovic at Adelaide United. Uh, this guy is set to be the starting striker for the Reds this season. Obviously still very young, but he's already picked up a few goals in the A-League over the last couple of years. But wearing the number nine this season, there is a big campaign coming up for Luki Ivanovic and hopefully for Reds fans, he does step up to the task. At number nine, I'm highlighting Central Coast Mariners striker Ryan Edmondson. This is his first full campaign in the A-League after arriving mid-season last year. Ryan Edmondson obviously scoring in the A-League grand final last season and grabbed a few more throughout the season for Central Coast Mariners. Could be set for a big campaign. He's going to be jostling for that strike position with Alu Kowal, but Ryan Edmondson, I, I really liked what we saw from him last year, and I think he could potentially take his game to the next level this upcoming season in the A-League. He's tall he's strong he's fast he's got attributes to be a really strong striker in the A-League and could grab a bunch of goals this season at number 8 I'm going for Hiroshi Ibasuki at Western United what a signing for Western bringing the Adelaide striker to the club he scored double digits last year for Adelaide and I was really surprised to see that the Reds did let him go and Western United it's a fantastic pickup for them who really struggled to score goals last season that was one of the weaknesses of John Aloisi's team last campaign Hiroshi Ibasuki he's fantastic at holding up the ball so tall and strong strong and a great finisher as well. If he can link up with the likes of Riku Danzaki, Matthew Grimaldi in attack, it'll be interesting to see whether he lines up alongside someone like Noah Botic or Marco Roos in attack. Hiroshi Ibasuki could score a handful of goals at Western this season. At number seven, I'm going for Tommy Waddingham of Brisbane Raw. Thomas Waddingham, still a very young striker and was basically the starting striker at Brisbane last season. Didn't grab too many goals in the end, but is coming into his second year in the A-League with much more experience now. And I wouldn't be surprised if he does score even more goals this season. Again, it's an interesting one at Brisbane Raw because he might be jostling with Raphael Strike for that forward position at Brisbane. But if Waddingham is given the chance from the start, week in, week out, so much potential from Thomas Waddingham. He could be a Golden Boot contender at Brisbane this year. At number six, I'm going to highlight Guillermo May, striker at Auckland FC, Uruguayan, 26 years of age. He grabbed a handful of goals playing in the top flight in Uruguay over the last few years. And this is a guy who, you know, could receive some great service, you know, with the likes of Champness, Rogerson, and Jake Brimmer teeing him up up front for Auckland FC. And of course, we remember the last time a notable Uruguayan striker came to the league. He did pretty well. And that guy was Bruno Fornaroli, who's now playing for the Socceroos as well. So Guillermo May will be hoping for a big first season in the A-League this year. It's time for number five. And let's talk about Valer Germain of MacArthur FC. He's going to be such an important player for the Bulls this season. Leading the line, scored a handful of goals in their Australia Cup one, where they lifted the trophy in the end. He was good last season, and I think he can get even better this campaign as as well. Obviously, he's got strong competition. Harrison Sawyer of South Melbourne has recently joined the club, but Valerie Germain surely has to be starting at the Bulls this season. The French striker could be leading the goal-scoring charts in the A-League this season. At number four, I think it's worth highlighting Costa Barbarousas once again, who had arguably his best A-League season ever last season. Costa Barbarousas jumping in double digits in the goals. And you look at the team that Wellington Phoenix have set up this season, I think there's some really exciting combinations for Wellington Phoenix going forward, especially with Marco Rojas there. Hideki Ishige, who could support in attack as well. A solid midfield to back them up with the likes of Alex Rufa and Paolo Retre. Costa Barbarousas, we'll see, we'll see whether he does play a central role once again this season or whether he is utilised out in a wide role. Can play a variety of positions, Costa Barbarousas, but he'll be eager to continue his goal-scoring feats once again this season. And number three, keep an eye on Melbourne victory striker Nikos Virgos, Greek striker who could potentially play a big role for Melbourne victory this season, especially considering when we look at their Australia Cup run, obviously Melbourne victory made it to their Australia Cup final. Virgos, when he came in at the club, was starting ahead of Bruno Fornaroli, which is a big call. Fornaroli, as we mentioned earlier on, was one of the Golden Boot contenders last season. Scored 18 goals over the campaign, and he's now on the bench. Nikos Virgos given the opportunity. He's already scored a few in their Australia Cup run, and if he is that starting striker this upcoming A-League season, he could score a great number of goals this campaign, especially, again, you look at the support around in the players who will be setting him up, the likes of Arzani, Machash, Valupale, Piscopo. There's so many players in that victory attack to set up the opportunities for Virgos to score a great handful of goals this season. And number two, of course, we have to mention Adam Taggart, the Golden Boot winner from last season. And it was really interesting seeing the fact that he did win the Golden Boot considering that Perth Glory also picked up the wooden spoon. Glory, while they did concede a lot of goals last season, they did score a lot as well. And a lot of those came from the boot or head of Adam Taggart. This is a guy who is a soccer striker and is so dangerous in front of goal. Arguably the best finisher in 
in the league and will be leading the line once again for Perth glory this season. Again, question marks in terms of where the creativity is going to come from from Perth glory with so many new players in that side. Not doubting the quality of those creative players, but we'll see who it is to set up Adam Taggart this season because he needs to receive the service in order to score lots of goals once again, of course. But Adam Taggart, not only will he be wanting to score a bunch of goals to help to hopefully for him lead Perth glory back to finals this year, but he'll be wanting to make sure he maintains his spot in the soccer squad and he will do that by scoring regularly in the A-League. And then finally, number one, a player who I seriously think could win the Golden Boot this season is Patrick Klamala, the new striker at Sydney FC, Polish striker, has spent time over in New York as well as Celtic. He's played at a variety of clubs, now at Sydney FC. I think the big reason why I think Klamala could well win the Golden Boot this year is you look at that Sydney FC attack and arguably the best attack in the league. That front four for Sydney, you've got Douglas Costa, Joe Lolly in the wings, Anas Wahim, who's looked very, very bright playing attacking midfield already. The other midfielders there, Caceres, Leo Senna, Patrick Klamala leading the line. He's going to get on the end of so many opportunities for Sydney FC this season. Look, it could well be, you know, Joe Lolly or Douglas Costa leading the goal scoring charts for Sydney this season, but Patrick Klamala, the Polish striker, has looked really lively in what we've seen from him so far at Sydney FC and like like I mentioned, I think he'll just get on the end of so many opportunities here for the Sky Blues this season. And if you guys saw my ladder prediction, you know I called Sydney FC to finish top. And I think if they do finish top and they're winning games, scoring lots of goals, Patrick Lamala may well be the Golden Boot winner for season 2024-25. So there's 10 players who could potentially win the Golden Boot this season. Of course, there's plenty I didn't mention. Let me know in the comments, who do you think will be leading the Golden Boot race this season. Make sure to stay subscribed for plenty of A-League content here on Coastwatch Football throughout the upcoming season. My name's Lockie, this is Coastwatch Football, and I'll see you in the next one.